Okay, so I know that so many people say that cottonmouths are so aggressive and that they'll bite you at any chance they get. Well, uh, I got a cottonmouth right here. Yeah, she's gaping at me and she's really scared. She's she's being defensive of herself. And I mean, can you blame her? I mean, I'm a giant mammal and here she is. She's just a puny little snake. What she's doing is she's displaying her white mouth to show me that obviously she's a cottonmouth and that I should definitely back up. But really, would this snake really, really bite you? I mean, come on, like, look at this. I have my snake stick here. I'm putting it in her mouth and she's not doing anything. Touching all around her, the head, here, everywhere. And these snakes are just, they're scared animals. They don't want to be messed with. This is an extremely, extremely venomous snake. And, I mean, they just don't want to be messed with, you know? Hey, look at me, I'm a cottonmouth. I don't want to screw around with you. I mean, these things have a lot of venom, but it's really hard to make, so they don't want to waste it on a predator. They'll rather use it in their prey. I mean, here I am with an extremely venomous snake. I can literally put this thing right in her face. Nothing. So, I mean, next time you find a cottonmouth, I mean, think about it. Is it really worth killing? I mean, they control rodent population. They control the frog population. I mean, frogs can get pretty out of control sometimes. But these things have a life too. I mean, there's no point in killing them. Yeah, they're venomous. Yeah, they're a snake. But I mean, does that really matter that much? I mean, they're just an animal like anything else. It's just really inconsiderate to just kill them out of fear. I mean, they're scared. They don't want to mess with you. I mean, obviously, here she is. She's gaping at me. She's like, ah, I'm gonna get you. If you just get any closer, I mean, this isn't an aggressive behavior. This is purely her warning me, hey, I'm a cottonmouth, obviously, since of my white mouth, don't mess with me. How much more proof do you need? Sure, not all snakes are like this, but a very large majority of them are. And if you don't try to pick them up, if you don't try to kill them, they won't bite you. Accidents do happen, I will be honest, accidents do happen. I stepped on a rattlesnake, obviously, but I mean, those are so few and like uncommon. I mean, like you shouldn't be worried about that. You should be more worried about getting attacked by a freaking person on the street. Like look at how close she's letting me get. I mean, I'm not being unsafe or anything, but I mean, look at this. This is crazy. Everyone's like, oh, this snake's so deadly and dangerous. They'll jump out of the swamp and kill you. They're not. It's just the honest truth. Alright, so I hope you guys learned something about this, and um, hope these things and other snakes will be more understood in the future, because really, they're not monsters, they're just animals that are trying to survive in the world like every other animal, including us. I mean, just leave them alone and they won't mess with you. It's so simple. So, yep, say goodbye, Cottonmouth. I guess that's a goodbye, I don't know. Alright, see you all later.